Okay, 7-1, multiplying monomials. Um, the first word we want to look at is monomial, and what does the term mono mean? And mono means one, so examples of monomials would be um, the letter X is a monomial. Um, the, le the number 7 would be a monomial. Um, X to the second power would be a monomial because they are connected and there's no separation of addition or subtraction in between them. Um, the term, I could combine all these together and make a 7x squared. That's also a monomial because there's no separation of subtraction or addition. So it's one term just compressed together. So what we're going to be doing is multiplying these um, tonight and tomorrow. So if we start just basic and we multiply exponents or, or variables with exponents, what was the rule when I take x squared times x to the fourth? When we multiply like bases with exponents, we are going to add their exponents. So that's x to the 2 plus 4 power, which is x to the sixth. Same thing if I if I change the variable up and I went a to the third times a squared times a, that's going to be a to the 3 plus 2 plus 1. Remember, there's an imaginary 1 there. And so that's going to be a to the 6th power. And so that's the very basis of, or the very basics of multiplying monomials. Now let's get to what, what you might see on your work today. <clears throat> These will be examples. What if I had... What if I had something like that? 6x to the 4th power times x to the 2nd power. What I want to do is is multiply, because this is multiplication, multiply the numbers first. Now, the number out here is a 6. Now, there isn't a number here, but that's a 1x squared. So we're just going to take 6 times 1, which is 6. And now let's focus on the exponents. x to the 4th times x to the 2nd. We just add those exponents together, and that's going to be x to the 6th. Okay, 6x to the 6th. And let's do another one of those. How about uh, uh, okay? Again, let's look at the numbers first. We're going to take negative 2 times the negative 14 because the parentheses signify multiplication. So negative 2 times negative 14 is going to give me positive 28. Then looking at the variables, I've got y times y to the third power. So that's going to be y to the 1 plus 3, which is y to the fourth. And so what if I have... I have two variables in there. Does that still make it a monomial? Well, they are compressed together. There's no separation by addition or subtraction, so those are still monomials. So we're going to do the same steps, except we're just going to have one more because we've got two variables this time instead of one. So let's take the negative 6 times the 4, which is going to give us negative 24. Now let's look at the x's. I've got x times x to the second. That's going to give me x to the third. And then I take y to the second times y to the fourth, which is going to give me y to the sixth. So negative 24, x to the third, y to the sixth. OK, the next is going to be a power to a power. If I took x to the fourth, and then I took it to a power on the outside. Okay. 
power to a power tells me that I don't add the 4 and the 2. I multiply the 4 and the 2. So this is going to give me x to the 8th power. Now that power works if you put a number out in front as well. So let's say this is 2x squared to the third power. What that third power says is I'm taking everything in there to the third power. So I need to start off taking 2 to the third power. So that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to give me 8. And then I have my variable of x. And then I take the 2 times the, th the 3, so that's going to give me 6. So my answer would be 8x to the 6th. And so let's take this one step further. And what if I saw um, something like this? Let's go. Okay, well, something like that. I'm going to do those parentheses first, and then the brackets will keep going. So we're going to take the 3 that's inside the parentheses and square it. 3 to the second power right there. That's going to give me 9. And then x squared to the second power is going to give me x to the fourth. And this is what's inside of our bracket now. And out there we have still a second power. So we go one more step. We take 9 to the second power, which is going to give us 81. And x to the fourth to the second power tells us we take 4 times 2, giving us x to the eighth power. OK, 81x to the eighth power. Now, let's look at one that's little more lengthy might be might seem a little more intimidating but uh, we can work through it let's go with um, 3x y to the fourth power all raised to the second power times negative 2y squared to the third power. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and break this one down over here. Let's take our 3 to the second power. So that's going to give us 9. And then we're going to take our, remember there's imaginary one there. This is power to a power. So our x, and then we take the 1 times the 2. So that gives me the 2. Then bring down our y, and that's going to be 4 times 2, which is going to be 8. So we've got 9x squared y to the 8. Now over here, we've got negative 2 to the second power. So negative 2 to the second power is going to be negative 2 times negative 2, which is going to give me 4. That's y to the first, and y to the first to a power of 2 is going to give me y to the second. And so I need to keep going with the 1 on the right. I need to take 4 to the third power, so that's 4 times 4 times 4. I'm going to go ahead and bring the 1 on the left down here. I'm not doing anything with it yet. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Now that could have been a bracket or a parenthesis. It doesn't make a difference. And then y squared raised to the third power, that's going to be 2 times 3. So y to the sixth. So now we're going to multiply things together here that we know. We've got 64 times 9, so just real quick, 64 times 9, it's going to be 36, 54, 57. So our numbers are going to give us 576. 
We've got x squared. We don't have any x's in the second one, so that's just going to be x squared. Then we have y to the 8th times y to the 6th. Now, this is not power to a power. These both have a y connected to them. So I just take the 8 plus 6, and that's going to give me y to the 14th power. So a pretty crazy problem. It ends up being 576x squared y to the 14th power. And that is example 5 in or on page 404 of your textbook if you want to look at that. So this has been a little lengthy. We'll talk about it a little more in class tomorrow. Do a couple more examples in, um, I mean on Monday, not tomorrow. And talk about it in class and get you on the right track. Hope you have a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday.